David Kari Weber Chappelle, slash, P. L. Slash, born August 24, 1973, is an American stand up comedian, actor, writer, and producer. With his incisive observations, he has been described as poetically unfiltered and socio politically introspective, with an ability to illuminate and interrogate agonizing and poignant topics. 3. Chappelle is the recipient of numerous accolades, including four Emmy Awards and three Grammy Awards as well as the Mark Twain Prize. He is known for his satirical comedy sketch series Chappelle's Show, 2003-2006. The series, co-written with Neil Brennan, ran until Chappelle quit the show in the middle of production of the third season. After leaving the show, Chappelle returned to performing stand-up comedy across the U.S. for, by 2006, Chappelle was called the comic genius of America by Esquire 5, and, in 2013, the best by a billboard writer. 6. In 2017, Rolling Stone ranked him number 9 in their 50 best stand-up comics of all time. 7. Chappelle has appeared in several films, including Mel Brooks's Robin Hood, Men in Tights, 1993, The Nutty Professor, 1996, Con Air, 1997, You've Got Mail, 1998, Blue Streak, 1999, Undercover Brother, 2002, Chirac, 2015, and A Star Is Born, 2018. His first lead role was in the 1998 comedy film Half-Baked, which he co-wrote with Neil Brennan. Chappelle also starred in the ABC comedy series Buddies, 1996. In 2016, he signed a $20 million per release comedy special deal with Netflix and, as of 2019, he has released five stand-up specials under the deal. 8. Chappelle received his first Emmy Award in 2017 for his guest appearance on Saturday Night Live. 9. In 2018, he received a Grammy Award for his Netflix-produced comedy album The Age of Spin and Deep in the Heart of Texas. 10. Equanimity, another Netflix special, was nominated in 2018 for three Emmys and received the award for Outstanding Variety Special, pre-recorded. In 2019, Chappelle was selected to receive the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor, which is presented by the Kennedy Center as America's highest comedy honor. 11. In 2020, Sticks and Stones earned Chappelle his third consecutive Grammy Award for Best Comedy Album. 12. Dave Chappelle's father, William David Chappelle III, worked as a statistician before becoming a professor at Antioch College in Yellow Springs, Ohio. 13. His mother, Yvonne Sion, née Reed, formerly Chappelle, 14, was a professor at Prince George's Community College. Sion also worked for Congolese Prime Minister Patrice Lumumba, 1516, she is also a Unitarian Universalist minister. 17, Chappelle has a stepmother and a stepbrother. 5, Dave Chappelle's great-grandfather was William David Chappelle who was born into enslavement and led a delegation of African Americans who met President Woodrow Wilson at the White House. 18. Chappelle grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, and attended Woodland Elementary School. 13. His parents were politically active, and family house visitors included Pete Seeger and Johnny Hartman. 5. Hartman predicted Chappelle would be a comedian and, around this time, Chappelle's comic inspiration came from Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. After his parents separated, Chappelle stayed in Washington with his mother while spending summers with his father in Ohio. In high school he worked as an usher in Ford's Theater. 19. In 1991, he graduated from Washington's Duke Ellington School of the Arts, where he studied theater arts. 13. Chappelle was featured in a montage of random people telling a joke in the first episode of ABC's America's Funniest People, airing on September 13, 1990. Chappelle moved to New York City to pursue a career as a comedian. He performed at Harlem's famed Apollo Theater in front of the infamous Amateur Night audience, but he was booed off stage. Chappelle described the experience as the moment that gave him the courage to continue his show business aspirations. 13. He quickly made a name for himself on the New York comedy circuit, even performing in the city's parks. 20. In 1992, he won critical and popular acclaim for his television appearance in Russell Simmons' Deaf Comedy Jam on HBO. It was his appearance on this show that allowed his popularity to truly begin rising, 
eventually allowing him to become a regular guest on late-night television shows such as Politically Incorrect, The Late Show with David Letterman, The Howard Stern Show, and Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Whoopi Goldberg nicknamed him the kid. 5. At 19, he made his film debut as a chew in Mel Brooks's Robin Hood, Men in Tights. He also appeared on Star Search three times but lost to competing comedian Lester Berry, Chappelle later joked about the irony of his ultimately becoming more successful than Barry. The same year, Chappelle was offered the role of Benjamin Buford Bubba Blue in Forrest Gump. Concerned the character was demeaning and the movie would bomb, he turned down the part. 21-22, he parodied the film in the 1997 short Bowl of Pork, where a dim-witted black man is responsible for the Rodney King beating, the LA riots and O.J. Simpson being accused of murder. 23. Chappelle played another supporting role in an early Doug Lehman film, Getting In, in 1994. 24. At age 19, he was the opening act for R&B soul singer Aretha Franklin. 25. Early in his career, Chappelle was called to perform after comedy veteran Chris Thomas, who was so good that Chappelle, though he had been warned, totally bombed. 26. Chappelle attracted the attention of TV network executives and developed numerous pilots but none were picked up for development into a series. 1327. In 1995, he made a guest appearance on an episode of ABC's popular sitcom Home Improvement. The storyline had Chappelle and real-life friend and comedian Jim Breuer ask Tim Taylor for advice on their girlfriends. 28. The characters' single outing in the episode proved so popular that ABC decided to give them their own spin-off sitcom titled Buddies. However, after taping a pilot episode, Breuer was fired and replaced with actor Christopher Garden. Buddies premiered in March 1996 to disappointing ratings and the show was cancelled after only five episodes out of 13 that had been produced. After the failure of Buddies, Chappelle starred in another pilot. According to Chappelle, the network was uncomfortable with the African-American cast and wanted white actors added. 29. Chappelle resisted and subsequently accused the network of racism. Shortly afterward, Chappelle's father died and after returning to Ohio, he considered leaving the entertainment business. 1327. He later appeared as a stand-up insult comic who targets patrons of a nightclub in the 1996 comedy The Nutty Professor starring Eddie Murphy, one of his major comedic influences. 30. He had a minor role in 1997's Con Air. 31. At the beginning of 1998, he did a stand-up performance for HBO comedy Half Hour. That same year, he appeared in Pilots and Pens Lost, an episode of The Larry Sanders Show's sixth season, in which he and the executives of the show's unnamed television network satirized the treatment that scriptwriters and show creators were subjected to as well as the executive's knee-jerk tendencies toward racial stereotypes. 32. He and Neil Brennan co-wrote the 1998 cult stoner film Half-Baked, Chappelle's first starring role, about a group of marijuana-smoking friends trying to get their other friend out of jail. It made money at the box office and remains a classic stoner film, a genre that includes the Cheech and Chong films as well as more recent fare like Judd Apatow's Pineapple Express. 33-34. In December 1998, Chappelle appeared as Tom Hanks' character's friend and confidant in You've Got Mail. 35. In 1999, he appeared in the Martin Lawrence film Blue Streak. 36. In 2000, Chappelle recorded his first hour-long HBO special, Dave Chappelle, Killing Them Softly, in Washington, D.C. He followed this up with an appearance as Conspiracy Brother in the 2002 racial satire Undercover Brother. 37. L. In 2003, Chappelle debuted his own weekly sketch comedy show on Comedy Central called Chappelle's Show. The show parodied many aspects of American culture, including racial stereotypes, politics and pop culture. Along with comedy sketches, the show also featured musical performances by mostly hip-hop and soul artists. He promoted the work of other black comedians as well, most notably Paul Mooney and Charlie Murphy. 38. 